Wow, all right, guys, welcome to the MYF Lounge. My name is Kevin Kilonzi, a.k.a. Kev the Rev, and I'm so glad to be your host uh, through this month as we go through the Someone's uh, series. It's Christmas. But I've got issues. All right, all right. And so, uh, I mean, it's been an amazing series so far. Uh, if you missed last week, this is what you missed. Last week, we talked about how we start life and then the things we allow into our lives, they taint us. We end up looking at ourselves and wondering what's happening. This is what God is recommending, huh? I'll provide for you according to my riches in glory. Wow. It's uh, those who love the Lord shall be strong and do exploits. And so as you go through God's word, look at that. It's oh, come on, man. Look oh at goodness. that. Look at that. You are going through word at, wow. at a time. You are going through a, you are going through a verse at a time. And before you know it, someone asks, where did all the mess go? Mm-hmm. Yeah. After where? new God, something changed. Oh. I think that's the whole aspect. That's the whole aspect. The yeah. old is gone, the new has come. Amen. Yes. All right, and so today I'm joined by the always awesome, always amazing Yang Wamta, <laughs> Bongi something, 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 <laughs> Karin Omtorengo, yes. Nimeweza. <laughs> Nimeweza. Eh. All right, and uh-huh. then I'm joined also by Paulette, what it is, what it do, what it go go. Karibu sana. Wow, Pasi. Asanti, asanti. Wow, so guys, um, it's been, you know, two, you know, the, the two series, two summons we've done so far. What, what's yeah. been your main takeout? I think for me, it's been interesting getting to learn that God's word is alive and active, even in difficult moments, moments still come to refresh me. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's so been good. really awesome. So mm. good. Mm-hmm. That's nice. I think for me, it's just realizing, hey, me, I've never seen Mary's story like this. Mm. And the fact that she always checked who is in her life, yeah. what she's letting in in her life. Yep. It's just amazing. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing to look at it from that perspective. Well, just boundaries about, about around around what we allow into our lives. Yes, yes. Amazing conversation. So ladies, I have a, con- I have, you know, as we start off conversations today, I want to ask you this question. Uh, if you'd sit under any mentor in the world, living or dead, who would that be for you? <laughs> wow. Uh, living or dead. I think for me, it would be Martin Luther King, mm. to be honest, because I think Nimse, who had submitted all his steps to God, all mm. his all his actions, he submitted them to God. I reading that he used to take like three hours before he went out, before any process, before anything he did. He used to take three hours and just go to God and just pray. And I'd really love to know how to consistently submit my steps, my uh, my work, everything that I do to God. So wow. MLK is my guy. Wow. And I, when I see you, <laughs> I see <laughs> Grim. Come yeah, on, God. You, you got a very, Grim. Very, very true, very true. I agree, by uh-huh. the way. For me, Percy, someone, a man called Mr. Richard. Mm. Many might not know him, but that man has just taught me what it is to work. Resilience, as mm. in humility, mm. as in the kind of things that I've seen him do are just ex extraordinary and i just want to be like that i keep on telling myself when i wake up these are the things i want to achieve too i want to be like that guy all right and he keeps me going all right mr yeah. richard whatever you are we celebrate you <laughs> yes. for me uh by the way just in case you have a you know your own uh, mentor uh someone like that go to the comment section let us know who that is for you for me it's none other than the uh, ceo of tesla spacex a host of many other energy companies yes. at elon I musk know, right i mean i look at that guy i'm like how are you able to run like see how many companies and all of them are cranking all of them are innovating all yeah, of them are on the awesome. edge of a society in terms of what they are doing yeah. i'm like i would like to be able to just hold such power to just and yeah. wisdom yeah, we uh, speak at tesla in your life uh, hallelujah <laughs> you see it hallelujah we see it I know. Yeah, yeah yeah you know their bulbs called tesla i hope it's like they can not the bulb <laughs> It's the capacity, don't worry. <laughs> anyway, as we continue this summer series, it's Christmas, but I've got issues. A part of the conversations we've had is just uh, realizing that there's a reason for us for us to have this conversation. Yeah. There, there's a compelling reason for uh, for us to do this thing. Um, here are some statistics that we've shared the last couple of d- days, and there are even more. I mean, we've just actually just chose some of them to share with you today. Uh, suicide is the second leading cause of death among 15 years, uh, 15 to 29 year olds. That's that's heartbreaking, right? It is. It is. Wow. It is. Over 800,000 people die by suicide every year. Every 40 seconds, that's one death. 75% of suicide occur in low and middle income countries. You know, sometimes when you hear about suicide, you're like, is on Izawa to Okomadzu? Yeah. But then you go like, aye, is it statistics? Who made them? <laughs> <laughs> you know, 75% of suicide occur by, you know, uh, 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 you know, done by males. Yeah. yeah. Boy child. Poleni boy child, baby. We got you in prayer. Yeah. Mm, mm, yeah. yeah. 
there are, there are more, more deaths by suicide than from war and homicide combined. I mean, you look at this and you are like, man, we have to deal with this conversation. We have to talk about this conversation. Sure. It's been a tough year. And even as you c- come into Christmas, not everyone is in that space of joy and merry and yeah. all that. Some people yeah. are, are battling some real issues. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why as MYF, you're saying we, we have to talk about this conversation that you're having here today. Sure. And here is how we are picking it. We are saying... When you consider Mary, the mother of Jesus, the Christmas season drew enough curveballs to her that it's it's surprising to us that she was actually able to sustain a stable mindset. Yeah. I mean, a 15-year-old, all of a sudden you're told you're pregnant, all of a sudden you're not going to have the marriage, the wedding of your dream. Uh, like, I'll come a but I'm an honor. Like, you know, like, it's going to be crazy. And then, all of a sudden, at, you're going to bring the savior of the world. But savior of the world is a whole new ball game. Huh? Yeah. Uh, I mean, this should have ended up in depression, stress, anxiety, some form of disorder. But somehow, Mary maintained such a sober mindset through it all. Yeah. It's amazing. And so, we've been looking at and asking ourselves, how did Mary maintain a sober mindset? Mm-hmm. And learning from her. Yeah. Week one, we looked at how Mary was able to curate and not um, and and measure and weigh everything that she allowed into her life mm-hmm. uh, by the fact that she was a virgin. And even when the angel speaks to her, she doesn't just take it; she measures it before she accepts it. Yeah, mm-hmm. there's a, there's a measuring life. There's a there's a way that Mary lived her life in a very checked and balanced way that is just amazing. Mm-hmm. And then this, last week we talked about how Mary. Uh, uh, lived according to God's word, and of yeah. course, we've seen that in the in the recap. And today, we want to continue on from verse uh, Luke chapter one, verse thirty nine to forty two. And and here, Mary has already got the news. Uh, uh, the angel has already told to her how this is going to take place. And so, we are continuing the story from there. Karin, maybe you can look, read for us Luke chapter one, verse thirty nine to forty two. Awesome, Percy. So Luke one thirty nine to forty two says. At that time, Mary got ready and hurried to a town in the hill country of Judea. Mm-hmm where she entered Zachariah's home and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby in her womb leaped and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. In a loud voice, she exclaimed, Blessed are you among women and blessed is the child you will bear. How about that? How about that? She hears the news yeah. and then the next thing we know, she just rushes yeah. to Elizabeth's house. What do you think about that? I think for me, it's just really intriguing. First of all, she's carrying the savior of the whole world. Yeah. Missing Yakuapo. Yakua ni meenda. No one will even be hearing from uh, me. Yeah. And yeah. then, but not even that, as in she's carrying a greater vision, a greater purpose. Yeah. But then, what does she do next? She goes to Elizabeth, as in mm. she seeks a mentor. Mm. She seeks a coach to walk yeah. with her. Mm. As in, that is just mind blowing, man. Mm. Yeah. Uh-uh. I think what's actually interesting as well, Paulette, is that she went to someone who, you know, they're not the same age. Someone who was much older than her. Yeah. Not only that, she went to someone knowing that her own purpose would be greater, but she was she did not shy away from learning from the experiences in Elizabeth's life. That was yeah. really mind blowing for me. Yeah. 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 And, and I like what Mary did here and what we are saying because our culture today, mm. if someone makes it, uh, last seen heading to buy a house in Kilimani <laughs> without. <laughs> neighbors eh? <laughs> i mean the last yeah. the last thing someone will do is to actually say i need to be coached i need to be mentored i need yeah. someone who's older than me uh, i want to sit under such a person i mean it's it's crazy because uh, she didn't allow success to get into her head but yeah. she allowed it somehow brought humility into yeah. her yeah. yeah i really like that too Percy. it's it's not the pesakidogo alafu yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and i think many of us young people actually tukiomoka we think there's nothing new for mm. us to yeah. learn and you know we make life all about making it but the truth is that life has a bigger purpose than making it mm. Mm. wow and and it's so important and you're talking about the conversation on mental health and yeah. the capacity for you to seek a mentor and sit under them yeah yeah uh, what do you think about that just uh, the whole issue of you know uh, uh, to maintain a mental a sober mindset yeah. by sitting under or being humble enough to sit under a mentor yeah, well, for one, every I think every person has their ups and downs in mm-hmm. life. And as Kev the ref says, <laughs> every mountain, eh, top experience mm-hmm. has a deep valley excursion. Na kwa kiswahili, aliaju, ngoje tu apachini. So I think having, uh, going through these ups and downs, mm-hmm. we really need to seek, like, um, you need to seek a mentor, mm-hmm. someone to sit under, someone who will guide you through it. Because mm-hmm. even them, they've experienced it. 
Yeah. Mm. So someone just will guide you through the ups and downs because they happen in each and everyone's life. Wow. Well, so just because you are at a, at a mountain top, yeah. you won't always be there. You won't mm. always and be so there. And so you need a mentor because you can expect the deep valley excursion. You can expect the low moments to come. You can expect that to be yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. And so seek a mentor because wisdom tells you yeah. a season is coming when I cannot be able to handle this. Yeah. 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 Kavis, and you know, first also First Corinthians ten thirteen mm. tells us that no temptation has overtaken you except that which is common to mankind. So. Mm. You know whatever you're going through right now somebody has probably already gone through it Come on. yeah and you know we always say that experience is the best teacher but it doesn't yeah. always have to be your own experience mm. yeah. you know mm. you know wise people per se are the ones who are able to learn from others experience come on karin wise people are those who learn from others experience yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of stress depression anxiety the likes those things that we that actually play on our mental stability mm. someone else has already gone through such seasons yeah. and though they are, so they are able to mentor you yeah. uh, along the way yeah? yeah yeah yes i think uh mentors most of them they will share their life experiences mm-hmm. and in their life definitely they've gone through the ups and downs yeah. so you get encouraged by their story because this is mm. very important because most of the times we're discouraged by what is happening in our lives yep. yeah, yeah. Yep. that's very true and i think what i love about mentors is that they are also able to call out the greatness in you oh, yeah you see when when mary visited Elizabeth she might not have known what she would encounter mm. but Elizabeth immediately she sees her mm. you know she says some powerful words yeah you know? uh, it say, she says blessed are you among women and blessed is the child that you will bear mm. you know Mary like you said if it were you ungekusha <laughs> hapa this news probably troubled Mary but the fact yeah. that Elizabeth called out greatness in her I feel like that gave her comfort in the season she was in mm. sure. well and i guess that's the greatest work of a mentor mm. not just to help you through the deep valley seasons yeah. but to be able to call out greatness in you yeah. to look yeah. at you and call out things yeah. that that weren't there that you didn't even know existed yeah, they look sure. at you and say there's something i like about you there's this about you yeah. and you go like wow that is actually there yeah yeah i think like for me uh for example uh having being a past a teens pastor mm. so someone just came and approached me someone who i look up to and they told me uh Paulette, by the way you can share these things you've learned with parents mm. so they can also know how to cope with things in life mm. it was just so amazing because it's something i had never realized i could do me mm. i was I, i was camera shy i wasn't yeah. even ready to go yeah. but now i'm on youtube you can even go check and see the <laughs> things <laughs> i am doing <laughs> Way, I would say that yes yes pesa kidogo tu pesa kidogo tu kidogo kidogo ndaingiza hapa kagari you never know oh, but good. it's been an amazing experience and the the impact i'm able to actually go out and yeah. impact people's life it's amazing yeah. because like, someone said because someone said i see you i see you knew this and this and this wow. it's amazing yeah i yeah. completely agree and i can relate to that as well because for me on my path it was also that person who was able to go ahead of me that mm. could be able to guide me and advise me on some things that myself fata si kwa nimeona you know so mm. but pasi i know you have so many mentors mm. wengi sana mm. so how do we go about practically looking for a mentor? Mentor. Yeah. Wow, well, Karin, I like that you said how do we look for a mentor? Mm-hmm. Because good mentors are looked for. They are good. They already are mentored in other people. So don't expect them to come looking for you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so a good mentor is looked for. And in the case of the scripture you just read, it's actually Mary who goes to look for Elizabeth. Mm-hmm. Elizabeth does not come to look for Mary. Mm-hmm. And so it's a it's a humbling position where you say I'm going to look for someone who I'm going to walk under. Mm-hmm. But also see people making a mistake of thinking that you're going to get one mentor who you know has like all in all yeah. uh, and it's okay sometimes you will be lucky to get one person who has all that but over the, my life i've realized that it's not one person who mentors you in everything mm. uh, and so in my life i have someone who i look up to financially I have someone who like look up to marriage wise there's someone who has i look up to career wise yeah. there's someone i look up to in how they bring up their family yeah. and so because of that they mentor me in those specific areas and it's okay mm. uh, it's not like it's a it's a a mentor in you you can't be mentored by another person no <laughs> A good mentor knows that they don't have everything yeah. and so they give you an aspect of their life where they're excelling in yeah. and because of that then you excel in that area of your life and so look for such a person and then like the person who I look up to financially I don't have to meet them every month I meet them like three times a year but by the time I'm meeting them I have an experience I've tried something we talked about failed or succeeded and so we are coming to the next level of the conversation. Yeah. Now when you finally find those people don't just go like hey the company mentor would no no <laughs> you just don't waltz into a mentor's life yeah. you know it's, it's it's not like you know it, it, here is the best way to get someone to mentor you. Yeah. 
this no, first of all you know them probably there's a relationship or there's not mm-hmm. but design a problem they have and then solve it because they don't have time when you solve a problem they have they now get the time to to mentor you for example you want to be mentored by a certain lady but you can see they have a career they have children they have all that yeah. one of the things you can do is say let me go and babysit for them but now as you're babysitting you have the attention yeah, yeah? Yeah. Or, or for me, you can say, there's a certain guy I look up to, they, which did they wash their car? Let me go and help them wash their car. But as we are washing their car, now I have an opportunity to ask all the questions that I need yeah, or, or that I have. Or how can I find myself to solve a problem they have so then I can fit into their lifestyle? So when you solve a, a, a mentor's problem, they now even feel obligated to say, what do you want? Read that what you want, <laughs> and they're able to open up their life uh, to you. So it's not just it's, it's not just um, just just go someone and say mentor me. Yeah. It's good for you to solve a problem for them. Yeah. Then it's very easy for them to give them you, you the time and what you need from them. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So Pasi, then I understand I should not bazookizo my way into my mentor's life. Mm. So what are some of of the questions that I can also ask? Yeah, yeah, and that's again another problem. Mm-hmm. Someone goes, someone comes and say. Mentor me. You know, that's the hardest thing to do. Mentor mm. me. Like, okay, pokea. You know, like, I don't know. <laughs> it's not like anointing where you just, you know, bless somebody. You know, she, no. It's, it's have a list of questions yeah. in different areas of your life mm-hmm. that you can be able to have a discussion over. Yeah. Because okay. uh, sometimes a mentor wants to solve a specific problem or to work with you in a specific area of your life. And so there are some questions for me, they're always at the back of my mind. At the top of my mind, I sit with someone today, I sit with Obama, I sit with uh, Kibaki, I sit with whoever today. The first question I'll ask is, how did you end up in this career path? Mm, yeah. By the time they're done answering that question, there are so many other questions you can yeah. pick up along that mm. one line that just allows you to open up more and more. But there are some, there are some more. You can ask questions like, um, um, what's the best advice you've ever be, been given in your career? By the time someone is answering that, I mean, that's a God wealth of knowledge. Lord, yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe you've worked with this person for a while. Mm-hmm. One of the questions that I always ask uh, is, what are some blind spots that you can see in me? Mm-hmm. Uh, sometimes I also ask, what are some strengths you see in me? And so this person is able to speak about some of your strength and they're able to help you uh, along the way. So having a list of questions then allows you to be able to be the one who's sparking the conversation. Because yeah. also the mentor could be like, maybe you don't need it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But when you ask the question, then it gives them the opportunity to dive into your life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. really, I really, really like what you're saying. Because most of the times, uh, I think as a youth, when you want to be mentored, <laughs> you think it's a whole lecture. <laughs> yeah. We are going to see it. This person is going to tell me this. But mm-hmm. the way you Take say notes. it's a conversation. <laughs> exactly. So I ask you questions, he asks. And I feel like mm-hmm. even mentors learn a lot from the youth, you know? Exactly. Because mm-hmm. it's a learning experience. Yeah. And there is something profound you've said. Yes. That with time, as in someone can get good at being good. Exactly, it's Pas- true. But you can actually explain a bit more about that. Yeah, you see, you, you, you need to make it easy for your mentor to mentor you. Mm. There's some people who come to be mentored and you're like, bruh, you know everything, so why do you need me? <laughs> <laughs> but there's a way you can work with a mentor. and So you need a blend of naivety. Yeah. Naivety in terms of I'm, I'm open to learn, uh, but also a blend of brilliance in terms mm. of Mimi Sidanda. You know, there are people you come to mentor and then you're like, bruh, it's just hard to try to get them to understand. I mean, they're asking even the obvious questions. How do you put credit in your phone? Like, okay, that doesn't help you. But, <laughs> but there's a way someone can come. They, they want to learn from you. That's yeah. what I'm calling about naivety, yeah. uh, a yeah. learner's heart. Yeah. But at the same time, they have a brilliance. Mm. They, 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 they already have a genius in them yeah. and they're sharing that with you. Yeah. So that you want to leave your mentor and the mentor to be like, wow, that guy is just amazing. Yeah. I want to spend time with that guy. So the next time you call, he's like, yes, of course, come over. There's some people you call and they're like, um, I'm busy. I'm busy. <laughs> I'm make, make, you know, it becomes harder. So True. make it easier for your mentor to mentor you. I really love that person. It's really great. I love that you've said a learner's heart. So Lord, yeah. I, I pray that we may have a heart that is willing to learn. Yes. And let me see if I, if, I, if I got you right. I think you said three things that, that we should do. Mm. And I think you said one, we should find a specific area in which you want to be mentored because, you know, a mentor will not come and solve all your problems like that. There's exactly. no one size fits all. Yeah. I think you also said, Pastor, that we need to discern a problem mm. and then find a way to solve it, which makes it easier for us to blend into the life of mm. our mentor. And finally then, don't go, ju- don't go evil too. Mm. Go with a list of questions once you have the attention that they can... Uh, 
you know you can have a conversation with them on yeah? yes yes yeah. exactly awesome. Awesome. It's, it's like what we've been saying through the series we the first week we saw how you can your life can be polluted and all yeah. and then the second week we saw how god's word is able to clean you up mm-hmm. and it's good for that because now you become clear in such a way that you're able to refresh other people your life is a refreshing life yeah, there, 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 there's a clarity within which you are working a life with and people are like i wish i was like okay. you yeah. at your age yeah. Yeah, and so that's that, that, that's what you're saying. And young people, let's learn how to keep off our phones. Yeah, these gadgets over here. When you're in the presence of greatness, <laughs> zoom on your phone. Because sometimes you are we're in the presence of someone who you look up to, someone who can mentor you, yeah. but you're so caught up in your phone, yes. they're not able to speak to you. Mm-hmm. And so learn to just keep off your phone and ask questions. Have everyday normal conversations. Yeah. Uh, and and even on your on your phone, you can be mentored by people who are not near you. Today, if you want. Uh, Steve Fatty can mentor you. Yeah. T.D. Jakes can mentor you. Uh, there, 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 there are a host of good, uh, you know, preachers out there or mentors, people who have, you know, podcasts and all that who can mentor you. Mm-hmm. And so don't say there are no mentors around. You can start with your phone, but then those who are around you who can actually be able to call out greatness in you, then you can be able to invite them to speak into your life. Amazing, yeah. amazing. I think, wow, like... I- yeah, first of all, yeah, yeah, I, I, yes, yes, yes. I guess in light of everything you've said, so uh, as teens, as youth, we need to position ourselves where we learn and mm. we are aware of ourselves, yes, and just not learning. Mm. Also, like looking up to people who are gonna call out greatness in us. I yeah. think that's the most profound thing because you can be sitting in there and you think you can't do anything, and man, you can make such a huge impact in this world yeah. but because you have no one to call out that greatness mm. in you you haven't done it yet yes yeah. yeah and honestly sometimes that's what would make a difference when you're having a tough day that could really make it for you i know mm. exactly wow. when you're having that kind of discouragement someone yeah. comes and says you know you can Changamka. do this <laughs> yeah. come and you can do this amazing. Yeah, yes yes. that is so amazing yes yeah. and so i know we've been talking about mental health and we really it's i mean it's a big broad topic mm. We've only scratched the surface. But we believe that if you start doing some of these things, then you're on your way to mental wellness. Uh, the first week we talked about being aware of what is entering into your life. Put boundaries. And that's called wisdom. You're living under wisdom. So that not everything is getting into your life. which then spoils your life. Uh, the second week we talked about living under God's word. Mary yeah. says, let it be to me according to your word. And we say that God's word is able to refresh. God's word is able to uh, make clean, is able to give light to the eyes, is able to make uh, radiant someone and all that. But then number two today, um, number three today, we are saying, be humble enough to look for a mentor. Some mentor. Sometimes yeah. you're going through such as a mentor is able to say, hey, life is not over yet. You know, yeah. uh, uh, don't, 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 don't live life as though someone else has not gone through what you've gone through. Sure. And so they're able to just allow you to get into a space where you go like, all right, I'm going to wait on God. I'm going to allow this mentor's word to refresh me from the inside out. Yeah. And so we want to get into this time of reflection. We always reflect after having conversations. I want you to reflect in your life. Where have you been so puffed up you've not been able to sit under a mentor? Where have you, where has your life been in such a spin and you are just praying that God brings someone who I can be able to work with so they can be able to know, not just, for me, not just to learn from the experience, but they're able to call out greatness in me. I keep fighting voices in my mind that say I'm not enough. Every single lie that tells me Just the sum of every high and every low Remind me once again just who I am Because I need to know You say I am loved When I can't feel a thing You say I am strong
Thank you so much for tuning into our service. Wasn't that so amazing and impactful? If you're watching this live and you'd love to hang out with us more and just generally have a good time, follow the link down below and we'd love to see you there.